Still eyeing his record-breaking eighth Super Modified Track Championship at Oswego Speedway, Otto Sitterly, driving the John Dakota Racing number no. 7, battled hard in 2016 but fell short to two rising stars in the world of Super Modified Racing. Sitterly kick-started this year's campaign on a high note, with three consecutive top five finishes in the month of May, putting himself in prime position for a run at title number no. 8, leading the standings as the series rolled into the month of June. While Sitterly looked to be on the doorstep of taking control mid-season, trouble struck on June 11th as Sitterly found himself parked sideways in the second turn. One week later, trouble struck yet again as Sitterly took a wild ride in the night's second twin 35. From there, an eighth place finish in the Independence Grand Prix would drop Sitterly out of the point lead to third, and a 21st place finish in July's Mr. Supermodified would provide a deficit Sitterly was unable to overcome the remainder of the season, as Michael Barnes and Dave Gruel ran away in a fight for the Novellus Supermodified Championship. While Sitterly fell short of the championship, he still put together a banner year by most standards, with seven top five finishes and nine top ten runs. Congratulations to the driver of the Nakoja Racing number no. 7, Otto Sitterly. A championship contender since he burst onto the supermodified scene in 2010, Dave Gruel found himself in yet another title fight in 2016, coming down to the very last lap of yet another epic back and forth Oswego championship. During the month of May, Gruel put himself in early contention with three consecutive top ten runs, including his first top five of the season in the Jim Champagne Memorial. Sitting fifth in the standings, over 25 points out of the lead, Gruel used a pair of top five finishes on twin 35 night to officially make himself a title contender, climbing to only nine points out of the championship lead. A near victory on Independence Weekend behind Eric Iosu thrust to Gruel number 50 to the top of the point charts for the first time in 2016, leading to the summer stretch. A seventh place finish on July 16th handed the point lead back to Michael Barnes before Gruel regained the top spot just one week later after a third place run in the Mr. Super Modified. Once back in the lead, Gruel held the point until the final feature event of the season on August 20th as Barnes literally went off. Driving from last to first in the final event of the season to steal the championship from the 50 team as Gruel came home with a ninth place run in the season finale. Falling only seven and a half points shy of the title, Gruel ended 2016 with five top five finishes and an astonishing 11 top 10 runs, finishing in the top five of the championship for the fifth time in just seven super modified seasons. Congratulations to the driver of the Gruel Racing number 50, Dave Gruel. A crowd favorite year in and year out, the hustler Michael Barnes was finally able to put all the pieces together alongside team partners Joey Hawksby and Gary and Eric Sorrell of Sorrell Racing to earn his first and most deserving Novella Supermodified Track Championship. A small block super rookie in 2003, Barnes utilized his lively personality and immense pure driving skill to climb into a Super Modified by 2005 and burst into Oswego Victory Lane in 2006, driving for Bob Hofer and Bill Samuels, and a runner-up championship finish officially put Barnes on the map in 2007. A few twists and turns along the way kept Barnes from racing weekly at Oswego in the years following before returning to drive for Strong Racing in 2012 and eventually landing with Sorrell Racing in 2014. With work commitments keeping Barnes from a title shot in 2014 and 15, 2016 was the year to shine and Barnes made it happen in a big way. A victory on the Speedway's wet and chilly opening night in May led several to believe it may be a Barnes runaway in 2016 knowing that the 68 would be in weekly action this season. A fourth place finish on May 21st reaffirmed that thought, but a 12th place run in the Champagne Memorial showed that the Sorrell Racing Machine could be stopped, setting up a three-way race for the championship with Dave Gruel and Otto Sitterly. Following another podium effort on June 11th, Barnes held an 11-point lead on Sitterly in the title chase, and with a fifth-place finish in the night's first Twin 35 on June 18th, followed by a drive to the front in Twin number 2, Barnes appeared to again be en route to a championship stranglehold. But while setting up for a chance at the point in Twin number 2, the 68 faltered, dropping Barnes to the pit area with a 13th-place finish, putting the championship into the hands of Sitterly by a half-point margin. Three consecutive fifth place finishes in July put Barnes back on track, but he still remained a half point back now of Gruel with only August remaining in the title fight. 
A seventh place run on August 6th dropped Barnes to 12 and a half points back, and a rainout on August 13th meant Barnes was on the outside looking in, heading to the championship finale on August 20th. With all the cards on the table, the Hustler blasted to a heat race lead in the 68, looking for all he could muster. But the Magneto cap would back loose before the finish, knocking the 68 out, meaning Barnes would have to start on the tail of the field for the 50-lap finale, now 18 and a half points out of the lead. With Gruel starting in the front 10 spots and Barnes dead last, the Hustler threw caution to the wind, putting on a one-of-a-kind drive after starting 22nd on the grid to take second position, stealing the championship on lap 37, and eventually stealing the lead on lap 43 to go on to win the first and last races of the championship season, sealing his first and most dramatic track championship. Barnes now becomes only the 25th different man to be called an Oswego Speedway Novella Supermodified Track Champion, giving longtime car owner Gary Sorrell his first championship as a car owner. Congratulations to the driver of the Sorrell Racing number 68, Michael Barnes.